what I'd like to demonstrate to you here is the idea of what we call filtration under reduced pressure. Um, so you've got your solid, imagine that's your reaction mixture, solid in there and a load of liquid impurities basically, and you want to get rid of it. Now you could just set up a filter paper as normal and then just filter it, but it's going to take a long time. So this is basically a way of doing it quickly. So what we need here is what's called a Buchner flask, which is basically just a, a glass flask with a side arm and a little tube coming off it. And the idea is that you are going to use this pump to suck out the air that's in here, which is going to draw the liquid down. And what you need that is a Buchner filter, a Buchner funnel, and these will often come uh, two parts. You've got this part here which is going to sit in there, and nice seal, and then you've got the top part on here. And if you come over and see, you can see that there's a few holes in there that's just going to allow all the liquid to pass through. Um, now we don't just want those because they're pretty big, so we pop a filter paper on top. Now whatever this solvent is that you've got your reaction mixture in, in this case it's water, you're going to just soak the filter paper with a bit of water. And you should be able to see a few drips, but it's not coming down very quickly. Now if I connect up this device here, you basically just want to connect that inside the tubing here. It's a little bit fiddly. Now if you can possibly use a blue one, I think they're better. Um, but there are silver ones that are a bit heavier, so... Now, if you just push down on this to make sure there's good seal and suck, you can see that immediately stuff comes through. So if you put the solution on top, just give it a swirl so that all the solid comes up from the bottom, pour it in, and then you just apply a gentle downward pressure, and it will suck through. So if you come and have a look, you can see the top is completely dry. Okay, so that's gone through. Now, a good idea just to rinse this. So, if we take inside of the beaker here, just to get any solid out, and go through again. See, and I can actually still see a little bit of pink on the top there. So, I'm going to just rinse around. You want to use the minimum volume because you don't want any of this solid to re-dissolve. You precipitated it out for a reason. You're just going to suck it through. And then what you're going to have to do is dry that solid. So what I find a nice technique is just to get a second filter paper, to pop that on top, and just press down lightly on your solid that you produce. And then you're ready to transfer this and you can just dry it probably in an oven overnight. Okay, so that's how you filter under reduced pressure.